Ah, good morning everybody. It's Monday. You know what that means. Welcome along to episode number 76 of our F122 manager career mode with Team Alpine and after the disaster that was uh, the Miami Grand Prix last Friday. It, we, we need better fortunes coming up at the uh, Spanish Grand Prix and hopefully we do get those uh, better fortunes because uh, yeah. That was terrible. So look at the championship and uh, Red Bull lead the constructed championship from Alpine, Ferrari, Mercedes, Alfa Romeo, McLaren, Alfa Tari, Williams, Haston, Aston Martin. Everyone has scored. Shock horror to every single person around. In the Drivers' Championship, Charles Leclerc takes over the lead from George Russell and Max Verstappen, Esteban Ocon, Pierre Gasly, Valtteri Bottas, Sergio Perez, Carlos Sainz, Daniel Ricciardo and Kevin Magnussen. Your top ten. So, yeah. We need a bounce back. And we need a bounce back uh, firmly, lads, because we don't want uh, a repeat of Miami. That would, uh, at this early stage, I think that would be a proper disaster. So I'll go take practice with the boys, and we'll see you back on the other side of this for qualifying, where hopefully we get uh, a nice easy run. Uh, all right, then, it's time for Q1. Overcheck. And practice okay. went very well. Okay. You know, we were generally in the top six for practice. We do have to keep an eye on those um, Ferraris, though. Those Ferraris could cause us a, a bit of an issue. But the main thing to take from it was that we were definitely on the pace of the Red Bulls. That's, uh, that's a thing. And I have got something crawling up my leg that shouldn't be. Wow. That, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was, um, not good. You can stay there. <laughs> Apologies, folks. Let me just, uh, Do this. It might be already dead. Yeah, he's already dead. Ugh! I probably got my own blood all over me for that. That's useful. <laughs> That's strange right, let's get uh, the boys out there out with plenty of time this time. I made sure of it. Lord knows what happened in qualified last time with George, because we pressed that button to send him out, and he didn't go out. Uh, Gasly P3, George P2, that is what you love to see. You love seeing that in uh, practice. Splitting the Red Bulls very nicely. And we lose, who did we lose? Alex Albon, Lance Stroll, Mick Schumacher, Logan Sargent, and Nicholas Latifi. So, good foundation to work on, I'd say. We need to now go into Q2 and try and replicate that as best as we can. You know I mean? Alright, on to Q2. Copy. Let's get on to Q2. And let's try and get that form that we had in Q1. Because that would be a If we could get in there amongst the Red Bulls, that would be fantastic. But, like I said, we need to get in there. We need to get in there and we need to do good things, shall we say. Leclerc, 16 1. That's around about what he set in uh, Q1, wasn't it? We've got a yellow insect of 1. Um, try to see who that possibly crash. could have let's been. Sonoda, the uh, guilty now party. The focus on it's going to be into turn 4. And that, oh, is he gonna? Oh, oh, that's Sonoda out. Crash. Surely, surely that is Sonoda out. And that was a bitter blow for the team. That looked uh, to be a pretty really hefty whack. Chances. Yeah, that is Sonoda out. So that's one less car to worry about. He says to himself. <laughs> Vettel's now locked up. Look uh, now. This is going into again. turn 13. Well, they've lost it. They've locked up. And he's just going to park it there for a little bit. 
Okay, let's uh, let's get them out. Giovinazzi the first uh, to go out. Giovinazzi on the cut zone. Can he get through in the, the Alpha Tauri? They'll go uh, George. And there goes Pierre. Give him a nice little uh, bit of breathing room. Don't think Giovinazzi will catch us. Nope, he, we're good there. And let's see where they... Oh, Giovinazzi goes P. Nah, he's been knocked out now. And it's P3 and P4. But the worrying thing is we're slower than what we were in Q1. Yeah, we did a... Oh, no, we weren't, actually. We were just uh, we we're in and around where we were. We just uh, didn't improve that much. And we lose Norris, Vettel, Bottas, Giovinazzi and Sonoda. That's a big shock, losing uh, Valtteri Bottas. Hmm. Interesting. Great. Okay, on to Q3. Yep. On to Q3. That's absolutely fine. Let's, uh, let, let's, yeah. Let's get on with it now. Let's to see what they do. Leclerc did, again, Leclerc's doing the same time he did in practice. In, sorry, in uh, Q1, Q2. Verstappen, he goes actually slower. So that's a worry. Okay. But there is a gap there between Verstapp, Leclerc and Sainz to uh, fit the Alpines in. So at least we can do that. But the trend has been we've got slower and slower as the session's gone on. So Gasly out first. And then Russell out behind him. Who should we uh, who should we go for with the uh, lap? Let's go with let's go with George here. Let's uh, do that as we come out of the uh, final chicane, which won't be there for this. Uh, for this Grand Prix, thank you very much for getting rid of that chicane. Long run down to turn one, I think it's about 800, 900 meters down to turn one. Very un, it looks, uh, doesn't look undulated on camera, but it really is. Into turn one, very nice. Turn two, nothing corner. Turn three, you should be, should be, he says, fingers crossed, flat out. Nicely done, into turn four. Now turn five. Again, the track starts dipping down here, going into the uh, little valley. Turn six, nothing corner. Checkered flag is out through turn seven. Turn eight, nothing corner. Turn nine is terrifying. Trust me when I say turn nine is very terrifying. As we head down to turn ten. Oh, little, little uh, twitch there through ten. Now into 11. Have we missed a corner somewhere then? They've missed a corner out somewhere. I don't know where the other corner is. Because this is turn 13. And then turn 14, 15, 16. The final three corners. Where's Gasly gone? Gasly's gone P3. So that's good. The stat Leclerc did a 15-7. Talk about sandbagging. And George goes P4. But we're there. That's what we like to see. However, the worrying thing for us is, yeah, we're there. Yeah, we're there, but we ha didn't really improve. We stayed around the same times that we did. That, uh, that's the worrying thing. The worrying thing for me is Mercedes are really struggling out there. Don't know what's uh, gone on with Mercedes. Yeah, that might be interesting to keep an eye on. Right then, it's, uh, it's time to get the car set up. All right then, so on to the race preparation. 94% set of confidence for Gasly, 97 for George. Let's see what we can do. So it looks like it's going to be a two-stop, definitely. Two-stop is available. It's all a case of which way do we go about this two-stop. Do we go soft, medium, medium? Do we go medium, medium, soft? I'm wondering if there's a hard available to do a one-stop. There would if we put it on softs. Let's have a look. Can we put you on soft? Yes, we can. But the one-stop is 12 seconds slower, so that's not a viable. 
So I think we will start on the... Can we go long on the mediums and then do a really, really big... No, it's uh, going to be slower. We could do a long on the mediums and then really punish those soft tyres. Like, oh, we could really punish the tyres in this. Both stints. That's interesting. Yeah, we'll go with this uh, strategy here. We'll go strategy A, definitely. Uh, let's put some fuel in as well. That's good. And then for George, who's 97% confidence, but he's slower on the track. I think we go the other way, you know. And go start on the softs with him. That might be our best uh, strategy. Yeah, let's go start the softs with George. And then go medium, medium. Oh yeah, this, this is going to work out nicely. In fact, that's actually quicker. That is well quicker. Didn't uh, expect that. Okay, strategy A is done. Perfect. And we'll get his fuel in as well. Fantastic. Right, I would say everything is uh, set up then for the race. Yeah, that looks... Uh, I'm happy with that. Actually, no. Let's go, let's go the other way with Pierre. Let's let's go uh, the other way with Pierre. Let's. Oh, that's even quicker for Pierre. Oh, we can we can pull a fast one here. Okay, indecision has uh, brought this on. So yeah, let's uh, let's go get this done. Yeah, yeah. I'm happy with this now. Let's go get this done and let's see if we can uh, let's see if we can bring home a very decent result after Miami. The drivers there lined up on the grid under mostly sunny skies. And there we have Pierre Gasly. They're up in third position, tantalizingly close to pole. And here we can see Russell. They might not be in the top three spots, but things could change fast once the race gets underway. Will their hard work pay off today? This is it. It's the Spanish Grand Prix. And it's lights out, and away we go. Yes, indeed, lights out. Away we go here at the Circuit de Barcelona, Catalunya. And this is going to be... This this is going to be our comeback race now. We, we are going to come back from the disappointment that was... Miami. I, I, I guarantee it. I uh, promise it you all. That that is what we are. That is what we are here to do today. That that is what we. In fact, no. I, I'm going to promise you. That is what we're going to do. Mainly because we have to do it. But uh, you know, it, it. Miami was what it was. So we just have to live with the fact that that's what happened in Miami. Welcome to Miami. No, stop doing that here. It's uh, way too early for that. Who we got? We're still in P3 and ooh, side by side, the two uh, Alpines. We uh, definitely take some of that action around uh, these parts. Maybe because if we didn't take uh, some of these a that action, then, uh, well, we just didn't take some of that action. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's uh, well, ooh, still side by side between Gasly and Russell. I'd rather they uh, weren't side by side, if you don't mind because uh, you never know what these two are, are going to be up to. But uh, into that uh, chicane, let's see him down to the first corner. Let's see if anything uh, happens down into turn one. It's a long run down to uh, turn one. I think it was about 800, 900 metres down to this first corner. One of the classic long straights uh, on the circuit is uh, Circuit to Barcelona, Catalonia. Still side by side. Mind you, when you've got soft against mediums, they're going to still be uh, side by side, aren't they? Got to make sure that uh, well, both of them do uh, both of them do what is needed. Because if they don't, then well, trouble. 
There may be trouble ahead. There's going to be trouble in a second, you can feel that. That's still. Oh, another driver's locked up. Somebody's uh, locked up uh, somewhere. Presume it's in turn four. Because that's where, uh, uh, no, nope, it's uh, Perez. Let's have a look at Sergio look Perez at here. No, it's going to be there's in turn Sergio five. Perry. I do apologise. Um, well, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Team are devastated. They'll be questioning just. I don't think that was uh, greatly appreciated by them. Something tells me that. I don't know uh, what tells me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we'll settle in now. I think. Let's uh, let's settle in and get on with it. Okay, Gasly's overtaken Leclerc. He's going to uh, P2 the in the Grand Prix now. Is uh, Gasly starting to make these uh, mediums work for him? Up the inside of Turn One on Leclerc. I've got to have a staff and uh, next up. up there. Work from and we will be seeing him. The Fantastic! There, them on. My phone just vibrated, which is also nice. Oh, we're gonna get. What? George has crashed. Who's that that just crashed? Here's the replay. What, what's going on? Watch this. There's Leclerc. Oh, he's gonna take. He's gonna take someone out here. Is that Leclerc? Oh, Goodness George! Me, what? Wow. Well. Are you stupid or something? Well, well, well. The team had such high hopes today. What a shame. I don't think we were quite expecting that, were we? Safety car is out. Let's go conserve here, Pierre. Let's conserve all our stuff. Want to make sure that we, uh, two cars out. yeah, two cars out. Well, it says two cars. Oh, jo George has a time penalty as well. Yeah, okay. Thanks, game. All right, lap seven. We're gonna get this. Uh, gonna get this. Uh, God, my why is crawling? There we go. You know that feeling when you have something crawling up your leg and there's absolutely nothing there. Well, that's uh, that's the feeling, right? Uh, right about now. <laughs> Safety car is ending. Gasly's gonna lead him away. Leclerc down in P19. This could work out. <laughs> this could work out very nicely if Leclerc stays uh, right down there. We are off again. And Gasly's gone. Which is good. <laughs> if Gasly could go and get gone, that would be uh, absolutely fantastic. Because uh, I don't want him... I don't want Verstappen anywhere near us in that one second barrier. I, I, we just don't want it. Because I've got, I've got a feeling Max Verstappen's going to just uh, annihilate us uh, out there somewhere. I say I have a feeling, but, uh, you know... I have a feeling. Let's do that. There we go. Come on, Gasly. The hopes of Alpine rest on Pierre Gasly once again. I never thought I'd say that. And given the, his performance the last few races, well... I, I dare say uh, anything. Looking for Stapman. <coughs> oh, I'm having a choking session. I am having a choking session. It's early. That's my excuse. I'm sticking to it. <laughs> All right, settle in time once again, uh, Pierre. Let's uh, let's go get it. Very good. Okay, lap twelve, and yes, Pierre's set new fastest lap of the Grand Prix. Oh, where's, where's Verstappen going? Where's Verstappen? He's around there somewhere. Where is uh, Verstappen? Hello there. Oh, hello. Verstappen is uh is right there. <laughs> Red Bull moved up. He's uh he's let's right there, ladies and gentlemen. Let's now, see uh see Max Verstappen. Let's see that action uh, once again, shall we? <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. I usually get that when I wake up. I don't know why. And they clear it. I honestly don't they know uh, why it does that. It game. just does. We have to uh live with that and we have to uh oh, that's going to be a big blow say to the that. Team. 
Will they be able to Seriously, recover? I don't, uh, I don't we'll actually see. know why. Okay, oh, he's coming back at him. Go get him, Pierre. Go on, son. Someone's run wide. Okay, Ricardo has run wide in turn seven. Pierre's Ricardo taken the lead, the Grand Prix here. back. That's oh, not turn dear, seven, dear. that's turn eight, that's game. How dare you? You, uh, you obviously don't have uh, any iota of a clue there, do you? Gasly, fastest man out there at the moment. Got another yellow uh, out on the track. Seems to have been a lock Give Carla Sainz to his home there. Grand Prix. Hello. Another look. Science is the focus oh, we'll be seeing you there, the Carlos. The we'll be seeing you there, son. Suppose that uh, works out uh, very nicely as Verstappen takes the lead of the Grand Prix. Oh, no. The, the brakes are really poor. Okay, copy that. Let's see what happened there. Now here we see Max Verstappen. They take advantage and muscle their way through. Excellent work. <sighs> the team are really disappointed with that. Let's hope it doesn't set them back too badly. Both cars out again. Oh, the crash. Here's the replay. Okay, so there we have the LP. I know it's first thing in the morning. Gasly! Dear me, they won't have been expecting that. Ugh. You frustrate me. Well, we're on the. We've, we've fast ordered it to the final lap of the Grand Prix. Um, yeah. <laughs> Don't ask me how, but um, the Red Bulls are one and three, and we're out of the Grand Prix. Yeah, that's uh... that's how it sort of dropped the pen on the floor. I I haven't uh, I haven't got the foggiest of how uh, how this is going to work, but uh, yeah. It, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. It's absolutely fine. No, it's not fine at all. It is probably the furthest thing from fine you are ever going to uh, see. Leclerc wins. That's what? 40, 40 points for Red Bull. We scored nothing. Unbelievable. Hard times for Pierre Gasly. Not a good result for him. Alpine with a very disappointing outcome today. I imagine the mood down in the garage is pretty sombre right now. Teams try to see the positive in everything but they're going to have to look pretty hard after that performance. At the end of the weekend, it's second place in the constructor standings for them. For the next Grand Prix, make sure you join us at the renowned city circuit of Monaco. Prepare yourselves for one of the most legendary rounds of the season. Yeah, that was, that was just truly unbelievable. Charles Leclerc wins. Yay, Charles Leclerc wins. Whatever. Whatever, we're going to need a bounce back at Monaco. And we're going to need a big time bounce back at Monaco. We've got to somehow get George back in this championship. I'm not going to back Gasly if he, uh, if he keeps doing that. That's just uh, utterly ridiculous. You, you don't deserve development, or George gets one. He doesn't really deserve a development point uh, after what happened there. Six and a half million dollars in the bank. Yeah, all right, then fine. Whatever. Let's go wrap it up. <sighs> I, th I think, uh, yeah, silence says it all. We've got an engine in poor condition. We've got engines in poor condition. Oh, my God. 
Well, we need a better Monaco. That's for sure. We need a be we need a Monaco bounce back. George has a development point. Look at that. He's got 92 reactions and 91 control. What's he playing at? Uh, what is he playing at? All right, get on his corner in. 89 rated George Russell. Someone tells me he doesn't deserve 89 rated. And as for the staff, anyone uh, here? No, it doesn't look like anyone's got a development point there. Two bad races in a row. Let's hope that, you know, we've got our bad races out of our system now. Let's hope that uh, that's happened. What's going on here? Uh... I think it's uh, because the, they're doing the driver's appearance, it's taking a toll on their control. How much do you lose with that? I'd, if I knew that, I wouldn't have taken it. But I know that for next season, if we do a next season. <laughs> but uh, yeah, all right, thanks guys. Hope you uh, enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. We will be back tomorrow with the Monaco Grand Prix. Hopefully... He says, hopefully we can get uh, somewhat of a better result. So uh, in the meantime, stay safe, be kind to each other. And yeah, we're going to lick our wounds and we're going to come back stronger for Monaco. That I will guarantee you.